Happy Wednesday, and Ephesians 1 is where we're at today, starting this new uh, letter that Paul wrote to the church in Ephesus, and I'm just going to tell you up front, this is my favorite church in the New Testament. I could say so much about other churches. I loved I loved what the Antioch did by sending out missionaries. I, I, I love what Corinth did by in, investing in the gifts that they were given, and, and I love the way that God used other churches like Galatia and really Thessalonica, amazing little town there. But if I could be a church in the New Testament, I'd like to be Ephesus. Not because it was the biggest church. Not, not even because it was listed in the Revelation as the church that, that longed for God, even though they forgot the love they had for God. But I would love to be at the church of Ephesus because of what they were doing. This little church, not even a mega church, not the biggest church, this little church was changing the world by their faithfulness, by their devotion to God, not for the gifts and miracles that they could have, but for the blessings that God was already giving them. And Paul reminds them of that in Ephesians chapter 1. He says, praise God for blessing us with every spiritual blessing in Christ. Now, he gives a long list. I've shortened it up. Let me just give you what he describes. Think about every one of these blessings. It's yours and mine right now. We are just like Ephesus. We have these blessings. Here's, what the, here's one of them. You were chosen. You, you were handpicked by God. He, before he designed the world, he was already thinking of you, and he was laying out all of the details for you to be picked for his kingdom. And then you were called. Not only did he set it all up for us, but then he individually summons us to be a part of his kingdom. Every, every time in your mind when you're praying and you feel like there's something going on, you're thinking about something and a thought comes to your head, that's God's whisper calling into your life. Every time you feel the presence of God as you, as you see life happen around you, that's, that's his calling in you. And if he's given you a specific calling, whether that's ministry or work or family or parenting, that's a gift of God. He called you to serve a, a role in his kingdom. And then more predestined us as sons. I know people get all hung up on that. But all that means is he had already set up the family structure for you to be included. He had already set up all the details for us to be called and included in his family. And then redeemed. See, we were like slaves on the slave block. I know that's terrible things to talk about these days. But we were actually those slaves and we had sold ourselves into slavery with sin. And he comes back with Jesus and buys us back so that we can be set free. And not only that, we're given this eternal inheritance. You, <laughs> in the Old Testament, the family, the sons would be given an inheritance. Well, he's treating every woman and man as a son of God, given an inheritance in eternity. And then you've been sealed with the Holy Spirit. When you gave your life to Jesus, you were sealed with his spirit, marking you for this eternal life. And finally, he closes with power. You've been given the same power that brought Jesus back from the dead. Now, you may be looking at your life thinking, I'm not very well blessed these days. I mean, coronavirus and all these things, fires taking out houses, people hurting from hurricanes. And yet, you have every spiritual blessing in Christ. And those last for eternity. Man, we're blessed. You need to thank him for that today. And I hope you'll pick one of those blessings today and thank him personally and revel in the joy of that blessing. God bless you, and we'll see you again tomorrow.